high level advice which you can also which you can use to apply to IDEO so I've got your website open I'm going to share my screen with others because I'm going to ask you if I can share this with the group later on um, so I'm going to share my screen that's let's dive right in okay so let me start off with my favorite place LinkedIn right okay so what I've done today we know you want to apply for this amazing job at IDEO so first of all what you need to do is get to know people there this is really important never has who you know been more important so let's have a look you want to look at people who worked at IDEO um, and you also want to have a look at people who used to work at IDEO okay so people who work at IDEO now what I want you to do is see how you're connected to them so we ran through this a little bit the other night but I want you to pick out um, not only that, but what I noticed about this job is it's IDEO, the interaction fellow is with um, open IDEO. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expect you now to actually put in about 10 to 20 hours of research for this job because there's absolutely no other way you're going to get it. And um, you need to stand out from the crowd, you need to put in a ton of research, and you need to um, reach out to people who already work there and get to know them better. This could take a month or so but you're in this for the long haul. So I want you to have a look down here and I want you to pick out um, people that actually work there, um, people that you're connected to, that you could get um, a um, intro to. You can actually, let me see, connect. Who's this guy? Design leader IDEO. You want to, because this is an interaction fellow, you kind of want to have a look at people that are in the, in, on the interaction team. Let's see if we've got anybody here. These are in London. Oh, San Francisco business developer senior lead um, okay let's just go to the let's have a look Jamie Styles talent need I'm just gonna say this is in London but let's see if this will take us to actually IDEO the job um, the actual page where the company is on LinkedIn right okay so you can see here we've got you can see how I'm connected first degree connections none I'm only connected second. So I want you to go in and see if you've got any first degree connections you can reach out to. Okay, and what are you gonna to say to them when you reach out to them? Literally, you're gonna get in contact with them. You're gonna drop them an email. You're gonna say, um, introduce a little bit about who you are. Um, um, find out where these people go. Um, find out what they do. Find out where they give talks. I want you to go meet, meet them and I want you to get to know them. And I want you to do this. My challenge for you is to do this with at least five employees of IDEO by the end of this week. I want you to have reached out to at least five of them. All right, Dan? Right, that's your first challenge, okay? And you can go and do one of those informational chats that we talked about, which I think is a brilliant idea. Okay, so next on my list, LinkedIn is good. So you can um, always um, reach out to current employees or previous employees. So you can do that. Right, okay. Next thing, let's have it. I'm going to have a quick look at your website right my first impressions of your website are okay just move that out of the way okay so let's go right so good okay I was a bit confused about this this is your home page Interaction designed by Dan Turner. Put the Y in UX. There isn't a Y. And why should I put the Y in front of UX? I don't know. And that's, you go, hi, my name's Dan Turner. That's great. Interaction designer, graduate of MIT, fantastic. UC Berkeley, School of Info, strong advocate, blah, blah, blah. I've led and built teams, award winning ideas, think of me as a generalist with lots of specialities. Okay, so I want you to take out that last line. You are a specialist and people are gonna hire you as an A player because of the places that you studied. So I want you to think of yourself as a specialist. You're not a generalist, you're a specialist interaction designer. So this is, this is gonna be a new way of you thinking about yourself. Okay, and it says here, I'm sorry this has to be said, but there was this terrible event and I'm no way too related to Brock Turner. Thank you for your concern about his victim. Right, I want you to take this out. This is completely irrelevant. And it takes me off on a whole other rabbit, down a rabbit hole journey that I don't want to be involved in. So, and I think you should take it out. Um, like I say, the silence of, the silence of innocence persuades where speaking fails. 
all right? I want you to take it out. I don't think it's doing your homepage any good whatsoever. Um, and I want to know about you when I come here. I don't want to know about something that's something dreadful that's happened. Okay, it says here, if you know how it works, you're not the user, blah, 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 blah. Take that out, take that out. I think the first paragraph is fantastic. And I want you to think of yourself as a specialist. All right, next thing is, um, so I went into your projects portfolio and I actually downloaded your um, resume. This is fantastic. This has got everything on it that I would want to see as a potential employer. I would make this your homepage and I would link off to, to specific projects from here. I mean, this is fantastic. Interaction design and product design specialist. I would make an interaction, because you're applying for an interaction design job, I would actually take out the product design at the moment. You want everything in your being to be focused on the interaction design part, okay? So I want you to focus on being an interaction designer, specialist with a concern for public good. This is great because this is what IDO wants. Um, I wouldn't rock your background in journalism so much. I would definitely rock it in science and analytics. So um, that's good. You can, they can see probably down here that you've, or whatever you studied in, that you did journalism, that's fine. What I'm more interested in is your um, interaction design background. Employment, fantastic, Xerox Park. You see, you've got an amazing CV. You've got some amazing, what I would call confidence triggers, and also what I would call um, a player, um, a, a player triggers. So for example, Xerox Park is an amazing place to work. Um, you've got design consultancies here. You're even a lecturer in interaction design. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. All interaction design, uh, blah, blah, blah. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, um, this is amazing. Right, challenge, another challenge for you this week. I want you to make this your homepage. Okay, next thing, your portfolio, so your actual PDF download. This is great, but what I want you to do is I want you to actually take three of these case studies and I want you to tailor them 100% for what IDEO will want to see, okay? So if you look down here, I want your portfolio to reflect the relevant experience that they're asking for here. And also what I want you to do is I want you to go back into the Ask Louise Slack channel and at the very end of the conversation, you'll find a link here. So if you go to November 24th, it's a link to my lead pages, 24 hour webinar replay. What you'll find there is a link to the free Greyhound case study. Um, you can get immediate access to that if you sign up for it. I'm going to give you a little sneak, a little sneak peek of it here. But this outline is actually responsible for me getting a lot of work, uh, even contracts or six month contracts that are worth up to $80,000. So this framework works. I want you to write out your case studies in detail on your website and I want you to password protect them. I want you to give some kind of ooh and ah around your work but I want you to create case studies which are shorter than what your actual um, in-depth projects are on your website, which you're going to password protect. Because what you're gonna send out is this. This is what you're gonna send out to IDEO. You're gonna send out a very specific case study for each one in turn, okay? And this is the framework, and I want you to go and download it, and I want you to copy the structure I want you to list out the facts, the overview, the challenges, and much more. Now, if you want a little bit of um, design direction, I use Canva. It's amazing. It's, got, um, it's already got presentation layouts in there, so you can set this up for yourself really quickly. Okay, so um, that's it for today. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I want you to reach out to IDEO and go and take three or four people for coffee in the next two weeks and I want you to get back to me. All right. Thanks, Dan. Talk to you soon. Bye.